and all kinds of crazy topics. All you have to do is correctly guess the results of our polls, and then you win $50,000. You guys want to play? Yeah. All right, then let's get into it. Here we go. Our first question is worth $100. Here's the few possible answers. We've got mom's love life or their love life. The question is... Teenagers said they'd be most embarrassed if their moms blogged about what? Is it about mom's love life or their love life? The answers are in. Let's go to Detroit, Michigan, and say hello to Najifa. How are you? Hello. Hi, Najifa. Tell me about yourself. My name is Najifa. I go to Wayne State University. I'm a Delta Zeta. These Delta Zeta! Zeta. <laughs> now, Najifa, now, what happens more, the studying or the partying? Um, I think both. I have a good handle on balancing my life out right now. I'm a pre far student, so I do have a lot of studying. <laughs> all right, Najifa, it all starts here for 100 bucks. Everybody flip those cards. Is it mom's love life or their love life? Let's see it. Oh. Everybody says mom's love life for $100 with 56% of the vote. It was close. But you all got it. It's mom's love life. $100 brings us to our next question, which is worth 200 And the two possible answers are, they're smart or they're cheap. And the question is, what did waiters say they think about diners who use coupons? So are they smart or are they cheap? And the answer will definitely affect my date tonight. <laughs> Let's say hello to Todd from Longmeadow, Massachusetts. How are you, Todd? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Todd. Careful. That is a deadly predator, not in tornado form, which is when they're the deadliest. One of the best movies ever. Tell me about yourself, Todd. I am a charter captain out of Massachusetts, and uh, this is my shop, and this is where I set everything up to take my customers out and do some shark fishing. Oh, nice. That's amazing. Now, what would you do with 50 grand? I would take my wife to Hawaii. Absolutely. She... My, my wife has been putting up with my fishing habit for way too long, and she deserves a trip. Well, that's awesome. Well, Todd, listen, you got 100 bucks right now. This is for 200 yeah. Tell me, is it they're smart or they're cheap? Everybody flip those cards. Let's see it. Cheap, 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 cheap. say the birdies. The correct answer with 88% of the vote. It's tough times, guys. They said they're smart. <laughs> give anybody 200 bucks but we're gonna move this on raise the stakes yet again our next question is worth 300 dollars through the two possible answers we've got their picture or their weight the question is when looking at their driver's license what did women say they disliked more is it their picture or their weight we're gonna go to pleasant hill california and say howdy to miss marcy how are you marcy i'm great well, thank you, Marcy. What's going on? Well, I am here with Mason and my dog, Alex. And Mason is a potbelly pig that's been rescued. Oh, that's adorable. And do the, do the, the potbelly pig and the dog get along? Yeah, and so does the cat. Oh, wow. <laughs> get along. Yeah. All right, well, Marcy, good luck here. You got 100 bucks. This is for 300 Everybody flip those cards. Is it their picture or their weight? Yeah. Everybody says picture. You guys think they got it? Yeah? Yeah. With 74% of the vote, you got it. It's their picture. 300 bucks for everybody. We still have a four-way tie. And that brings us to the final question of this round. It is worth $400. More importantly, this will decide who stays and plays and who gets eliminated. So good luck. Here we go. The two possible answers are their parents or the nanny. The question is, nannies say they're pretty sure the kids they take care of like who better? Is it their parents or the nanny? Last but not least, we're going to go to Shelton, Connecticut. Say hello to Ron. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm well, Ron. Tell me about yourself, man. I'm a fourth grade teacher here in Shelton, Connecticut. Uh, I teach at fourth grade at Sunnyside School, and 18 of the most wonderful students uh, a teacher can have. Ron, what would you do with $50,000? Well, I'm family guy, so I love spending time with my beautiful wife, Liz, and my two sons. And uh, we live about a thousand yards from a marina. 
So I'd love to be able to have the ability to go buy a boat and spend more time with them right out on the water. Now we're talking. That sounds perfect, Ron. Well, listen, you're doing great so far. You're tied with everybody else. You got 400 bucks. This would double your cash. Let's see those answers, everyone. Is it their parents or the nanny? The nanny. Everybody says the nanny. The nanny. For $400 with 58% of the vote, you all got it. It's the nanny. <laughs> and just like that, this I think this is the first time it's ever happened on Let's Ask America. We've got ourselves a four-way tie. Oh. Everybody's got 800 bucks. We're going to break that tie. And the way we do it here on Let's Ask America is with a physical challenge we call... The Dash for Cash! Alright, here's how this works. The contestant who finishes last will be eliminated. Alright, here's your challenge. I want you to go and get a pair of shorts and put them on over whatever you're wearing. Ready? Set? Go! The Jeep is back. She's got the orange hot shorts on right away. Todd, that is a very lovely visual. But Todd, I'm sorry. You were back just a second too late. We gotta say goodbye. Unfortunately, Todd, you were quick but not quick enough. Todd, you've been eliminated. Goodbye, sir. Congrats to Najifa, Ron, and Marcy. They were so fast. And they are moving on. These three are gonna battle it out for big bucks. You stay right there. We're coming right back to Let's Ask. Sells Christmas countdown sale Friday and Saturday. Doorbusters 7 a.m. till 1 p.m. both days. Like sleepwear for the family, real legends tees for men, sweaters for the family, boots for her, toys for kids, holiday decor, Oshkosh and Carters, all 50% off and 60% off sterling silver. Print your coupons online and take an extra $10 off when you spend 25 or more, or save 20% off your entire purchase. Friday and Saturday only. It's Bell's Christmas countdown sale. Now the four dollar menu presents many options. It grants us only one stomach. Master, how does one decide between the original double and cheese or the fresh guacamole steak burger? The garlic double steak burger. Or an all beef Chicago style football. How do you decide, Master? Pictures. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4 at Steak and Shake. <laughs> From headlight to taillight and everything in between, Hyundai has heads turning. And backed by America's best warranty, it's no wonder Hyundai is number one in customer loyalty. Make the holidays shine even brighter during Hyundai holidays. Get zero percent APR for 72 months or up to 2,000 in total savings on Elantra only at your Suncoast Hyundai dealers today. It's the final week of Ashley's Customer Appreciation Event, and we're thanking you with unbelievable savings store-wide. Hundreds of room groups in stunning designs are 20% off, or get no interest for 36 months. Finance your purchase and get a Visa prepaid card of up to $450. Plus, Ashley Sleep Inner Spray mattresses starting at $99. Hurry in! Our Customer Appreciation Event ends Monday at Ashley Furniture Home Store. Attention women, are you losing your desire for physical intimacy? Meridian Research is looking for volunteers for a low sexual desire study. Compensation of up to $400 may be available. Study includes up to eight study visits. No medical insurance is necessary to participate. Call 727-34-STUDY or 941-756-8680 for more information on this new low sexual desire study. Or visit Meridian Research online at newstudyinfo.com. Welcome back to Let's Ask America right now. We have three contestants. They're all on webcams playing from home, and they're all trying to win big money by predicting what America is thinking. Now it's about to get even harder because these next questions have three possible answers. This question is worth $500, and the three possible answers are the day after Thanksgiving, the day after Christmas, or any day after they get paid. The question is, 
Which shopping day did women say they look forward to the most? Is it the day after Thanksgiving, the day after Christmas, or any day after they get paid? All right, Ron, I actually want to start with you on this one. I'm curious. What are your thoughts here? <laughs> well, I have a wife, and I know she loves to shop. And, uh, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, I don't think it's going to be enough. The day after Christmas, that's not going to be enough either. <laughs> so I say any day they get paid. You don't need a special holiday. You just need some cash in the bank. You got to go spend it. Ron says any day after they get paid. Najifa, looks like you might agree. No. <laughs> no? Well, then walk me through it. What are your thoughts? Well, after things, after Christmas, I feel like you're already so broke spending a million dollars on all your family members, and you already have gifts, so no. And then the day after you get paid, you probably have bills to pay, no. But I think it is after Thanksgiving, because that's Black Friday, duh. That's it, yeah. Who doesn't love to elbow other people in the face to get 20% off the television? Of course, it's the American way. Trample each other for the discount. Marcy, you've got the final say. Well... I always go shopping the day after Thanksgiving with my mother just because it's fun and we like to watch everyone else elbow everybody else. <laughs> but, and I don't know, the day after getting paid, and eh, whatever. But for me, I would probably have to say the day after Christmas because you get a really bunch of good deals. Oh, wow. Okay. Three very different answers. Great logic all around. The correct answer with 47% of the vote. It's not the day after Christmas, and it's not the day after Thanksgiving. Ron, you got it. It's the day after they get paid. Just like that, we got a front runner. Ron's in first place with 1,300, but it's still anyone's game because we're going to raise the stakes yet again. Our next question is worth $1,000, and the three possible answers here are the obstacle course, the drill sergeant, or the food. The question is... What did veterans say was the worst part about boot camp? Is it the obstacle course, the drill sergeant, or the food? Marcy, we're going to start with you this time. They don't always know those drill sergeants how bad they're going to be, and they can be pretty rough, so I say the drill sergeant. All right, officer shouty in your face, hitting you with the brim of his hat, exactly. spitting in your eye. No thanks, Major Payne. Najifa, your thoughts? It's not the food. And with the obstacle course, you go in there and they make you fit, so you kind of know what you're into. And the drill sergeant, I feel like they're yelling in your face, and it's just an emotional wreck. I don't know, so I think it's good the drill sergeant. All right, Najifa and Marcy agree with the drill sergeant. Ron, you're the final say. I think the guy yelling in your face is going to be the toughest part. It's got to be the drill sergeant. They all agree with the drill sergeant. Here we go for $1,000 with 54% of the vote. It's the drill, Sergeant. You all got it. Thousand dollars on the round. The standings don't change, and that brings us to an elimination question worth one thousand five hundred dollars. Now, keep in mind the contestant with the least amount of money here will be saying goodbye. And the three possible answers are a tool belt, a money clip, or a badge. The question is: Women in their thirties say that which accessory? makes a man the sexiest. Is it a tool belt, a money clip, or a badge? Marcy, we're going to start with you. I kind of think it should be a tie, actually. But if I have to pick one of the three, I'm going to go with the money clip. Oh, the old money clip. All right, Ron, let's say you. I think the thickness of that money clip is going to be the thing that they're looking for. I mean, having a clip on its own, that's not enough. It's got to be pretty thick. <laughs> Najifa, you've got the final say. The money clip because a dollar makes you holla. <laughs> oh, honey boo boo style. Everybody says the money clip. For $1,500, women in their 30s, well, they actually said a tool belt. <laughs> Not the badge or a money clip. I can't give anybody $1,500. And that uh -oh. means, Ron, you are moving through to the next round. Najifa and Marcy, you're tied 1800 apiece. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and that means it's time for the Dash for Cash. All right, here's how this one works. I'm going to read a polling question, and the answers are objects that you can find in your home. When I say go, ransack your house, turn it upside down, look for the object that's the correct answer. Now, the first one back with the right item will stick around, and the contestant who finishes last will be eliminated. All right, here we go. The possible answers are... Paper towels or toilet paper? The question is, what did moms say gets used up in their houses faster? 
Ready? Set. Go! Ron, you are moving through. 2300 bucks for Sin Pay. Marcy's back. She's got the roll of toilet paper right away. Najifa's back. She also says toilet paper. The correct answer with 62% of the vote. It's toilet paper. Marcy, you got it! Najifa, my darling, I'm so sorry. You played a great game. Unfortunately, you lost the dash for cash. We gotta say goodbye. Najifa, you've been eliminated. Congrats to Ron and Marcy. They are moving on and we're getting right into it. Now that we're down to just two players, things are going to get tougher. Ron and Marcy will now have four possible answers to choose from. This question is worth $2,000. The four possible answers are... Take all the covers, snore, get up and go to the bathroom, or talk in their sleep. The question is, which of these did husbands in their 50s say their wives do the most often in bed? Four divorce-worthy answers, $2,000 on the line. Ron Marcy, take a second, write down your thoughts. When we come back, we'll find out who's going to be that much richer. And one step closer to the final round right here. It's the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, starring the Rockettes. Returning to Tampa after seven years with a dazzling new show. Marvel at the amazing special effects and precision dancing. It's an experience you and your family will never forget. Live at the Strauss Center for the Performing Arts from December 12th through the 29th only. Tickets on sale now. Visit StrauthCenter.org or call 813-229-7827 today. Age is a relative thing. It's all in how you see yourself. Age doesn't define you, but it can tell you how much you can save. At VisionWorks, seniors 55 and up, your age is your discount. It's simple. Save 55 to 100% based on your age. Any frames, any lenses. Find more than a pair of glasses. Find a better you. Beautiful from Estee Lauder. Give her premier color, a full-size mascara, 29 shades, and more, plus our high-performance night cream, worth over $375, yours for $58.50 with any Estee Lauder fragrance purchase. Now, at Dillard's. When someone you love has trouble getting around, a walk in the park is no walk in the park. But this holiday, what if you could give them the gift of mobility? Empower them to walk whenever and wherever they want to go. Because with the Operation Mobility event, we're releasing 100,000 all-new Freedom Edition Hurry Canes at a historically low price. This new kind of walking cane tackles any terrain, folds up more compactly, and stands on its own. It has tremendously changed my ability to walk. I couldn't go outside of my house until I got the hurricane. I don't know if you call this technology, but I call it a miracle. The hurricane gave me my life back. This holiday, giving the gift of mobility has never been easier. Request your hurricane at a historically low price, plus free shipping. Go to hurricane.com and enter the promo code below. That's hurricane.com. Hurricane.com. He's got 1,800 all the way from Pleasant Hill, California. But Ron is sitting pretty in first place. $2,300 from Shelton, Connecticut. Now listen, before the break, I asked our contestants a question that was worth $2,000. It had the following answers. They were take all the covers, snore, get up and go to the bathroom, or talk in their sleep. The question was which of these did husbands in their 50s say their wives do the most often in bed. Let's find out their answers, starting with you, Ron. Everybody, everybody has to get up and go to the bathroom, especially a 50-year-old woman. So I say 50-year-old woman go to the bathroom. Marcy, what are your thoughts? I'm not sure I take offense to that comment. <laughs> um, having been married and being married for 33 years to a man who's beyond the 50s, uh, I know. He's always complaining about me taking all the covers. <laughs> all right, 
Yeah, Marcy says it's taking the covers. Ron thinks it's going to the bathroom. With 54% of the vote for $2,000, Marcy's got it. It's taking the covers. Just like that, Marcy's in first place with 3,800, and that means it all comes down to this. The final question of this round is worth $4,000. Here are the four possible answers. We got texting, camera, music player, or telephone. The question is... Which feature did college kids say they would miss the most if it stopped working on their cell phone? Is it texting, the camera, the music player, or the telephone? All right, Ron, I want to start with you. You're suddenly trailing. You got 2,300. You need to get this correct to stay in our game. What are your thoughts? The thing that they do with, all, with each other all the time, texting. They text all the time. All right, Ron's going to texting. Marcy, I'm curious, what did you arrive to? Music player, because they're always listening to music while they're studying, and they, texting's kind of, they did it in high school, this is college kids, so I went with music player. All right, Marcy says music player, Ron says texting. It's a tough question, the answers are very, very close. For $4,000 in a trip to the final round, the correct answer with 31% of the vote is actually telephone. <laughs> can't give anybody the four grand, Marcy. Not a problem for you. You are moving on, Ron. You played a great game. I'm sorry. We got to say goodbye. 2300 is not enough. Ron, my good man, you have been eliminated. Bye-bye. Good luck on the lakes, buddy. Congrats to Marcy from Pleasant Hill, California. She's got $3,800. And in a moment, she'll have an opportunity to risk her winnings on one final question for a shot at $19,000. without even leaving your home? You just won $45,100. Well, then log on to letsaskamerica.tv to see how you can be our next big winner. It's time to shop for my Salvation Army Angel again. Help us make a difference for thousands of children in the Bay Area this holiday season. Adopt an angel from our Salvation Army Angel Tree. Their Christmas wish is right on the card. Then just bring your unwrapped donation back to ABC Action News and we'll take care of the rest. The Salvation Army Angel Tree is supported by Cinemark Lakeland Square Mall. Lakeland's all-new movie theater opening in January. Are you suffering with joint discomfort but can't find a product that gives you the relief you need? Then stay tuned, because the next 60 seconds will change everything. Because we're about to guarantee the first 100 callers a complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, the top-selling joint formula at GNC. Instaflex is a top seller because it's our most powerful joint formula ever. So it can give you the relief you need. And now you're guaranteed to receive a complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex if you're one of the first 100 people to call. 1-800-913-9269. If lines are busy, try again. Instaflex gives powerful, effective relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. And you're guaranteed a complimentary two-week sample if you're one of this station's first 100 callers. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and these fine retailers. But you can only guarantee your complimentary two-week sample by calling now. 1-800-913-9269. 1-800-913-9269. It's the season of giving, and we're giving back. Buy a new Tyrone Square Mazda and we'll give $100 to All Children's Hospital or four other great charities. And we'll give you the best deals of the year, like 2014 38 mile per gallon Mazda 6 starting at $21,990 with 0.9 for 60. Don't buy a Camry, Sonata, Cord, Fusion, or Altima until you drive a Mazda 6. See why it's been compared to Lexus or BMW at almost half the price. Give yourself the gift you want and deserve, a shiny new Tyrone Square Mazda. Giving back. That's always fair, always square. Happy Holidays. Let the Golden Diamond Source make your holiday shopping easy. We have jewelry in everyone's price range. And we have the largest selection of diamonds in the Tampa Bay area. Come in, sit down, and shop on our relaxing romance bridal salon. So hurry into the Golden Diamond Source. Welcome back to Let's Ask America right now. Marcy from Pleasant Hill, California. She's got $3,800. Congratulations, Marcy. You're playing a great game. But now it's decision time. You can risk any portion of your 3800 on this final question, but if you put it all on the line and get it correct, Marcy, 
I'll give you five times that amount for $19,000. That's a lot of feed. However, Marcy, if you risk it all and get it wrong, you leave with nothing. It's a bit of a spectrum there. What are you thinking, Marcy? I'm thinking $800. Okay. I like that. Either way, you're leaving you with some cash, but Marcy, you get this right. You've got $4,600. It all comes down to this. Here are your four possible answers. Their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, or their 50s. Marcy, here is the final question. In which of these decades did senior citizens say they learned the most about life? All right, Marcy, you didn't waste too much time there. How do you feel about this question? Are you confident? I, I'm thinking, well, what did I learn in my later years? What have I learned? And it's definitely, for me, it's the 50s. All right. Marcy's going with the 50s. Here we go. For $4,600, we're going to walk through it. With 9% of the vote, it's not their 20s. With 26% of the vote, it's not their 30s. The top two answers were their 40s and their 50s, separated by 11% of the vote. Marcy, you chose to play it safe, and that was the right decision. They said their 40s, Marcy. Unfortunately, you lose a couple bucks, but Marcy, you're still leaving here with $3,000 playing the game from your house. Thank you so much for showing up and playing a great game. Enjoy the three grand. You absolutely deserve it. And hey, you join us next time on the show where even you can win $50,000.